Hello, we are at the Wiltshire branch of uh, BCSS where we are uh, doing a workshop on uh, sowing seeds. So pots, uh, plant labels and potting mix as well as a range of seeds were available at our disposal. So we are going to sow seeds together. And uh, I also brought my own that I bought from um, December bank seeds of BCSS. But before we start sowing, I wanted to show you our table show. So this is where members can bring their plants to show them off. And there were three classes. The first one is this Othello cactus. And at the end of the meeting, we were casting our votes to choose the best one in each category. So beautiful species there. The second class was Adromiscus. And I've already made a film about my collection of those plants. So please do check out the link up above and also in the description box. And finally, the third class was just various plants. And also I want to take this opportunity to thank Mike and uh, Derek for allowing me to film it. So in this category, what caught my eye is this uh, species of uh, holiday cactus. As you can see, it's in beautiful pink bloom and it usually flowers in January Dionysus. But what's quite unusual, look at the stems, how thin and small they are. And you could see briefly the name of um, this variety. Right, so let's get sewing. So first I will show you something uh, that uh, you can use even for rooting. So you could put the cutting uh, to root on in its own. And what it is, I will let Mike to explain to you. Quarter gravel and a quarter cat litter. Have you all come across using cat litter? I guess so. Yeah. There's one better now. Is there? There is. Because I found the cat litter I've been buying recently, Tesco Premium Lightweight, the particle size is really big. It's like, I don't know, half an inch across, quarter half an inch across. That's no good for seed things, I'm going find that. So I have bought an enormous bag of. Um, it's sold to mechanics in garages with mopping up oil spillages. It is molar clay. Molar, it's exactly the same stuff, but even cheaper than buying it as cat litter. The only downside is you've got to buy it in bags that I can barely live with. <laughs> so, what I've done is I've actually bagged up the bags, bags this kind of size, um, over there. Why is it? It's baked clay particles. Yeah. Oh, clay particles. It is, it's yeah. the same stuff as, as Tesco cut litter, but it's actually a much finer grain size, which I'm going to feed something. So, uh, so to save you the bother of all buying a vast bag, if you want to have one of these for a pound or smaller bag, so another the other bag over there to... So here you go. This, uh, these are baked clay uh, particles, which you can use instead of um, cut litter. And here's the selection of seeds of uh, mine. So Derek, what's in this? That's just Mates. one in it, number two, and um, great. And that's all? Nothing else? That's all. That's okay. So we uh, fill up pots with the potting mix, and uh, it's often always useful to have flavour, so we know what it is. And uh, then we soak them in water. When they are all soaked through, then we microwave to sterilize. So, Mike, how long do you keep them in the microwave? Uh, four pots together, I think about two to two and a half minutes is about right for this kind of microwave. I'll sometimes take them out and leave them and put them back in again for another minute because I also think the duration of the temperature is as important as the actual maximum temperature to make sure you're going to get rid of all the fungal spores. What we don't want to get rid of is moss. Sooner or later, some kind of moss spore will grow in your. Yeah, I know. You can fairly easily get rid of it too if you need to. 
four pots were left in the microwave for two minutes, whereas one pot for around a minute. If you were to leave it for longer, you will see what uh, happened when uh, the bag uh, split. Anyway, once um, all is sterilized, then you sprinkle the seeds, zip up the bag and wait for germination. So this is my whole pellets and uh, pots full of seeds. So fingers crossed, I will get some success. Thank you for watching. See you next time.